So we're going to add a little bit more into the mix. And if we look at our details, we not only have recipes and recipe classes, we also have some other tables. What does that look like? The recipe classes, recipes, recipe classes, recipes. And then we have all this. So we just ran we just ran that where we worked with this set of data and this set of data to pull out two fields and return this set of data. What if we also wanted to see ingredients? So we have in the schema recipe ingredients so it has a unique ID, R-I-I-D, and then it has a recipe ID, and one recipe can have many ingredients, right? So that's a connection. And then it has recipe sequence number, so step one, step two, step three, whatever. And then it has ingredient ID, so it could have an ingredient name, and it has measurements, how much of that measurement. And so when we insert all that, data to build that up. We create the ingredients table and that ingredients table is this one, ingredient ID and ingredient name. We create the measurements table and so it's measurement ID and measurement description, this one here. And we create the recipe ingredients, and that is all this stuff right here, recipe ingredients. And then these two are going to reference over here. So we have references and references as one of the constraints on each of those. And then we insert into ingredients some values key field and ingredient, then we insert into measurements some values, key field and some measurements, some, a little, a lot, a generous scoop, and then we insert into ingredients these values. And it's a really a transaction table, they're all numbers. It's allowing transactions to occur. And so we have recipe ID 1, 2, 3, the unique ID, and then, or the recipe ingredient ID, our IID. Then we get the recipe ID here, and then we get the sequence number, which is actually the one that has not is not really connected to anything. It actually has some uh, meaning to it. And then we uh, put the numbers in for the ingredient and the measurement. So all those numbers. I wrote a little program to randomly generate 100 numbers in those places within the right range for each one. So we insert all that. And we get we get some uh, we get some data in there. How do we pull that data out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all ready for this? And to do this one, because it's a little bit bigger, I'm going to code it in my editor. And I do this because this gives me uh, the right send, the right coding scheme, character and coding and that I could copy it over easily. So we're going to do it here. So we're going to do select and I want recipe title. You guys want to do it in order so it makes sense. Recipe class description and that's going to be from I'm going to name that recipe classes, that table, recipe class description and then from recipes I'm going to do recipe title and uh, and then do I want uh, see recipe title recipe uh, description 
And then uh, maybe, yeah, the ingredient. So then I'm going to have recipe ingredient. Let's see, do I want any feel from there? I don't. But what I do want is, let me just bring this up a little bit more. I'm going to do, yeah, recipe ingredient, recipe sequence number, and then ingredient, and it's going to be ingredient name, and uh, measurement, and it's going to be measurement description. And I'm going to select those from uh, recipe classes as RC. And I'm going to join recipes as R on rc.recipe class ID equals r.recipe class ID, correct? Huh? Wouldn't it be recipe ID? Thank you. No, recipe classes, recipe class ID. Did, yeah, look right here at the schema. Recipe classes, recipe class ID, recipe class ID. Working left to right, right? Just connecting those. Because I need recipe class description. I need recipe title. These are connected on recipe class ID, so I've connected them on recipe class ID, recipe class ID. So how many sets of data do I have so far? Three. Where are they? One is recipe classes. Two is recipes. And this is three. Okay? Because that is going to return a set of data. I took one table. I joined it to another. It's an inner join. It's on these fields. It gives me this set of data. I've got three sets of data there. Recipe classes, recipes, and then what that operation returns, which is this. Got it? So recipe classes is one set, recipes is another. Yep. So you join them, the result is another set. Everything in parens right there, that's going to be a set of data. What's that set? It's this. You're thinking in sets. That's our first set. All right, now we have that first set and we are going to join it. That Join that first set with what? We're going to join it with join recipe, recipe ingredients as RI on. And I need to be able to see on recipe ID, recipe ID, right? on recipes.recipe ID equals recipe ingredients dot recipe ID. Okay? How many sets of data do I have? Somebody count them out to me. Let me help you. Five. Yeah, baby. Here's the first set. Here's, here's, here's one set. Here's another set. Second set. Here's the third set. That's the third set. Here is the fourth set. Right? That table's a set. Here's the fifth set. That's a set of data. Cool, I've got a set of data. What can I do when I have a set of data? I could join it to another set. There's my set on the left. Everything to the left of that join is one set. Here's my set on the right.
right? Now I have seven sets of data. Here's my first set. Here's my second set. Here's my third set. There's my third set. I take this set and I join it to here's my fourth set. And when I do that, I get my fifth set. I take that set and I join it to my sixth set. And when I do that, I get my seventh set. And now I'm going to join that to measurements as M on. And it's going to be uh, ingredients, uh, recipe ingredients dot measurement ID is equal to measurements dot measurement ID. I have four opening parentheses and then one, two, three, four closing parentheses. Boom, 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 run it. Oh, I'm not in SQL. It might be helpful if I took all this and said maybe order by, all right, this whole set here, order that whole set by what? Well, let's order it by uh, recipe title and then recipe. So I could do r.recipe title. And uh, and then recipe sequence number. Awesome, right? Thinking in sets. It's the main thing you want to take away from today.